Welcome back guys to the next episode of Scarlet and Violet. Um, in this episode I'm gonna try and finish up the last few quests I got going on. Um, we have the last battle against uh, Team Star. So that we should finish off that uh, quest line, which would be nice. Um, and we also have the final Titan, the Dragon Titan, and we have the last gym. So we got a couple things we can do. Um, let's let's get right into it. As usual, if you guys are enjoying the playthrough, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more. And uh, let's go. Um, now we need to be going this way. Okay. I don't even think I have all the right Pokemon for this, but I guess it doesn't matter. Even the smallest stars can light up the sky when they shine together as constellations. We're the last bastion of Team Star. Losing isn't an option. Hey Kate, you listening? If you beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, we'll call the boss out to deal with you. How's that for hospitality? I mean, it's the same exact thing as everyone else. Okay. These guys should be stronger though. Sending out one Pokemon at a time. Why the beating in here? Because their levels are a lot closer to mine. Compared to the last couple ones, I don't, I didn't think we'd get so quick. Oh, wait, what the? It's a little coin Pokemon that I can't interact with. At least the layout of this gym is a little bit, or not gym, this uh, star base is a little better. Instead of it just being a big ass like hole, seems like you can do some amount of like exploring here. Well, not well, not really exploring, but I guess some path progression that's a bit different. Can't really complain too much about that. I need to get Iron Valiant. That's a Pokemon I am super excited for. It looks super cool. Ooh. Well, my Pokemon are fighting easy to heal up. That's, that's pretty good. One and start the boss. If we rematch them, I hope we don't have to do these again. I just want to do the battle. I took out the stupid motorcycle. I don't think we can hold her off for much longer, boss. No, you can't. You cannot. Oh. How do you go? Hmm. Give me one second. All right, sorry for that. The audio cut out, and it's just like, eh. Okay, I'm ready. Doesn't matter who you are. 
I'll bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This base is precious to us. I won't let this rate of yours go any further. I am already inside. But her levels are pretty high. This should be a good fight. I give it as good as I get. That's a promise. We'll see who's left standing in the end. It won't be you. Annihilate. Oh, he lived. That's pretty impressive. Even with life orb. It's not that big of a deal. I'm still just surprised. Just walk in here and sweep that thing out. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Pissimia. Also, my Pokemon aren't gaining, aren't gaining any EXP. particular reason fighting was this bug like why bug is already kind of a shit typing you know but why does what is fighting resistance not quite if this thing knows like knockoff or something that'd be kind of annoying Watching. okay that's not knockoff Some sun boosted torch song. The fact that terrestrialization like increases uh, doubles the uh, base power of your um, already stab moves is crazy because it doesn't get rid of your natural stab. Mario. I mean, this could not crunch. I would be surprised if it did. I guess we'll find out, right? Forest is. Interesting. Oh, wait, I'm a pure fire type. If that's something to think about. Oh, my torch sound didn't trigger. I refuse to lose, so please lend me your strength. I thought that was guaranteed. Just 
can. Oh, I hate that it does. Giving me flashbacks to what's that game? Uh, Pokemon Empire? The freaking Mudsdale in that game was like impossible to kill. And I have like one special attacker on my team. Suddenly I'm realizing the error in all of this. Um, I think I could use the HP that I might not get for fighting this now that I think about it. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Who didn't kill? Interesting. That animation is so goofy, it's funny. Okay. Definitely a level spike there, though. Like, insanely high, too. It was almost 10 levels higher than the last base. I'm so sorry, everyone. Oh, yeah. year and a half ago. All right, now you're going to show me how she's a misguided bad person to you, even though she was never bad to begin with, because these are just fucking kids, and this story has made it painfully obvious that none of them are actually, like, bad. I'm so sorry. I think I went a little too far. Nah, don't worry about it. We're the ones who asked you to push us through some tough battle practice so we can train up. Yeah, but truly, you need not apologize, my lady. Thanks to the sage instruction, I am making swift strides towards mastering the art of battle. And I couldn't never have evolved my Pokemon without you, Ari. Even the big boss said it's thanks to you that we, are fight we have a fighting chance against our bullies. See? Nothing but gratitude. To us, you're the brightest star on the whole team. Bro, I, I need to meet these bullies. Are the bullies the final boss? The bullies gotta be the strongest trainers ever. Like, Madam X would probably get folded by a, a bully. Because like, I need to meet these guys. Come on, quit being silly. Just one thing. We've been training for four whole hours now, and I'm totally pooped. And I'm sorry, uh, you all really should take a break. I'll go for a run while you rest up. Maybe we have, uh, we four have each trained in our own, uh, in our turn, but you, our steadfast mentor, have rested not once. I cannot help but worry for thy health. Thank you for your concern, Atticus, but lately I feel I can take anything, even if I'm really tired or feeling like crying. Remember that time we all got together and rifled on, uh, and riffed on the gym badge design to create our own star badges? Well, I don't know what it is, but just looking at my star badge makes you feel so strong. Like I want to give it my all. Interesting. I gave it my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. You showed amazing strength. Even if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I want you to have this. Well... Alright. Oh, that's kind of a nice one. I like it. I'd like to see you try out our trademark move, too. Here, this one's for you. Close combat, let's go! I know you're part of Operation Starfall, but I could tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. The way your Pokemon look at you with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor and look away for a moment. This is a bit much for me to take. I just really... Fair. It's like it's all over. Riri. This is the team star member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a talk. What did you want to ask me? You seem to be much friendlier to in terms with Aerie compared to other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that? Well, all right. I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to hate Riri. She's an amazing trainer and athlete, and she's really pretty too. It took her no time to, at all to become popular at the academy. I was queen of the class before she came along, but then everyone liked her more than me. So let me guess, you started to pick on her. Pretty much. I got our classmates to join in too. We were all so stupid. But in the end, kids are always fickle and once one thrill wears off, they look for something new. Before long, the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. 
I guess I deserved it, but then Riri, she chose to... Oh, but then Riri. Pauses of sentimentality. She chose to help me even though I'd been horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side. And she invited me into Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that? What a kind girl. She really is. And joining the team has worked out great for us. It's so much fun. Fun? There are rumors that Team Star likewise engages in bullying. After hearing my story, do you really think that's true? Why does she get to wear heels and we don't? Come on, man, that's some bullshit. Evil team, what? I mean, evil, delusion, use subjectively, I guess. And no, I merely, Riri and the rest of the team star made me who I am today. Please don't take away our greatest treasure. I mean, it's up to him to decide what to do with this. In the meantime, I need to go look for a dragon. It's me. You Did you do it? Did you claim the star badge? Yep, I did. Without his boss, the cap, squ uh, the cap squad should be a, 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 hair's, a hair's breadth from disbanding. So Aerie was the last. All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before long and that they'll lost their special position. After that, they should soon be back attending classes at the academy. Nice work out there. Is that Clive I hear? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's, at least I know these two aren't the same person. Cassie, I'll be a win done to you too. Thanks. Now about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone. Appreciate it. More kinds of TMs. So much reward. There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and Team Star disbands for good. Where is the big boss? Don't worry, there's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss is none other than me. Oh my god. <gasps> Gasp! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long, bro. I already knew, but the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star back then. The member of the team were my closest friends, and I treasured them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give it up. So I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Bell, I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. Understood. Then I'll see you both there. I guess we might as well just go and do that. I might have to increase my levels though because these were this, she was technically a higher level than like some of my Pokemon. If I get all my Pokemon to like 60, we'll be all right. Let's see. This is my unnaturally strong Pokemon right here. Of 
close combat's really good though. So now I can get rid of fucking this what's this move? Low low sweep. Now we just feed the rest of the items that we got and try and get everyone as close to 60 as possible. terrain absolutely not fire blast ah oh, more immediate power this has got to be better than yawn right Okay. What's up? Flower trick. I don't know. I feel like Aqua Step might be a little too weak uh, to be useful. Let's see what this is. It's technically after dark, so I don't want to take too long. It's a super slacking. Okay. Alright. Let's get over here. What's up, Bell? Director Clavel? Come on, the name's Clive, remember? Actually, no. It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Haha! -ha. Oh, please, come on. How did you take your clothes off into an actual fucking suit? I hate Pokemon sometimes. I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. Okay, sure, if you think you did. In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of UVA Academy. <laughs> Mr. Clavel. I already knew that. What? But my disguise was perfect. Your disguise was not perfect. Although, now that I think about it, I did neglect to keep my youthful act on for a few occasions. That might have been what gave me away. Sure. Regardless, there is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Nah. Honest to goodness. When you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. Okay, no. Not this Code Geass bullshit. No, bro. You asked me questions. I don't even want to play anymore. 
I hate that shit, dude. I hated it in Code Geass and I hate it here. I pulled it off using a, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Oh yes, it was very clever. Uh, clever. So, Miss Bell, now you know I'm the big boss. So that means there's just one thing, one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. Let's go then. What are your levels? That's the question I care about. As Cassiopeia of Team Star, with this battle, I will finally bring Operation Starfall to an end. Level 60, okay, yeah. I did the right thing. I could switch in Sunny Day and just click Fire Blast. Torch Song Fire Blast. Let's do that. Because this Pokemon doesn't seem particularly strong. Oh shit. Okay, never mind. Because if he clicks Light Screen, this gets way more annoying. Yeah, I don't want him doing that. It lived anyway. I'd say that kind of backfired. That's annoying because this is my only special attacker. Yeah, it does. I don't have anything that hits this particularly well. Especially under reflect. Plus, of not having an electric type is, or even electric type coverage is coming. Oh, that's not good. I still did a hell of a lot of damage. Flower trick is strong. What the hell? Was she wa it, Get out of the way! <laughs> These trainers are getting on my nerves. I do like the nice touch of the po of trainers and Pokemon just walking around like as you're battling. It's just it's it's funny when they like walk around during your battle. Pulse you guys. I guess we could stay in on this. Although I guess it's faster than measled. Probably not the play to do so. Oh no. I guess we're already in on the right Pokemon. To think I, Cassiopeia, would be back into a corner like this. Very well. It seems I shall have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. I mean, if that's actually pretty good here. Unless he terrestrializes those, this is probably not going to go too well because I clicked Shadow One. 
fire, but yeah. Oh, uh, he could probably kill me now. I mean, maybe. I boosted like four times, so this might just kill out of principle. It did not kill out of principle. Skeletor is such a good, like, cry. This should be it, though. This is a Pokemon I'm going to take some serious getting used to, because I really just think it's designed a little bit strange. How strong you have grown. Well now, Miss Bell, it seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. Yeah, you'd think so, huh? And here, once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia. Oh, I know, for sure. You, you couldn't have been. Thank you. Though Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. Oh yeah, that was obvious. Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden, but I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. That's why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I do not mention any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win, so I challenge you to a battle to test your skill. If you had lost, it would have fallen on me to bring Cassiopeia to bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve, but turns out you are strong and you are kind. If anyone has a chance of saving that poor child, it is surely you. As an educator, it shames me to burden one of my students with such a task, but please defeat Cassiopeia. Take on the big boss of Team Star and win. You sir. You there. What do you think you're doing? Why is the ghost type gym leader here? Miss Time, a pleasure to see you. It's no pleasure at all, Mr. Kylo. I'm here to investigate a report of an illicit battle on school grounds, and what do I find? Why the director of the academy himself facing up- wait, this isn't the ghost type gym leader, why did I think it was? No, it's the ghost type gym leader's sister. The ghost type gym leader is Rhyme, right? Oh, spare me. You, uh, spare me your excuses. Uh, oh, spare me. Your excuses reek worse than a stunkies behind. A stunkies behind? That's kind of mean. <laughs> Remember, the big boss, big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. I'm counting on you. <laughs> Good gracious, no. Alright. Let's go heal up and then run up. Oh, no. We were healed up. Clean. No, it's at courtyard, right? But I'm guessing they're the same thing. Bell. Yeah, okay, so, you know, uh, fine. Thanks for coming. Why are you taking your hood off like I don't really know what the fuck you look like under that thing? I know what you look like. This must be quite a shock for you. No, you two were never... Ugh, you know what? The big boss, Cassiopeia, they were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside of school the uh, that time, the idea of Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skill let me get hold as much of LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. After Operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit, and I had you battle the boss on my behalf. 
all the goal for uh, all for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on, and I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is for the final showdown. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Thanks. Sorry to keep you. The letters of apology missed time had me, er, I mean, preparations took longer than expected. That voice, are you Clive? Penny, so it was you after, ah. No, I mean, is that you Cassiopeia? In the flesh, I have asked, uh, I've, uh, I have a task for you Clive, if you'll accept it. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the voice to, uh, the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay, will do. All right, then allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No, Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. All right. Umbreon. I won't hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. Can't say I want you to. Start. 62. Should be able to win this though. Depends on the team. If it oops all evolutions, we're good. Oh, stop it! It lives because of that. I think Tango actually gets baton pass. So with Moxie and uh No, nah, baby doll eyes twice. Let's just get out. But yeah, with Moxie and Aqua Step, you can like you can set up really well, and it's got a solid offensive like typing between close combat. Um, I I mean Aqua Step is fine. I probably would like a stronger. Oh my god, that pin missile might have killed me. I forgot Joseon's up super fast. Switch out. Not without Protean, I want to stay in on this thing. Man, stop using that. This would have been a cool way for them to debut a brand new evolution, uh, but considering literally no one's spoken about it, it probably just doesn't exist. Would have been nice though if it did. Sadly, it does sound like Sylveon is the evolution she doesn't have, right? Umbreon, S. Umbre I mean, yeah. One of them gets left out, right? Umbreon, Espeon, Vaporeon, Flareon, Jolteon. Sylveon. Actually, I think they're all. Oh no, Leafeon, I forgot to say Leafeon. Dragon, no. Okay. 
I need some icicle crash on this Pokemon. I think I get it in two levels. Ice Shard's like good for priority. Like, it'll be great for beating other dragons. But like, I feel like that's that's the one thing that'll make this Pokemon better than like Haxorus and like Garchomp is Ice Shard, because it's like Garchomp is faster, but this Pokemon has like priority quad four. So I feel like just by that, like in Dragon Wars, this Pokemon will be good. The only dragon I can see being like a problem for it is uh. What should we call it? Wait, which illusion did he say? I think it was Sylveon. I mean, it could only be Sylveon or Vaporeon. I think it was Vaporeon. One of them. Probably Vaporeon. Oh, oh well. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it was. She's too long talking now. But yeah, I, th I think that Pokemon will be fundamentally really, really strong. And because of Ice Shard, you could like go for an adamant nature, which I like about it. Just so you can have like even stronger priority ice shards for the Pokemon that are weak to it. And then of course you always have Dragon Dance. So if you find an opportunity to set up on something, you can. The last Pokemon on my team used to be a special attacker though. I have way too many physical attackers. Glaceon was the one that was left out. Okay, fair enough. I can't fault you on your battle skill at all. No wonder the bosses fell at your hand. Uh, something, something like that, I guess. Oh well. Time to terrestrialize. Shine bright like a starry sky and become who you really want to be. Oh, I like that. I almost want to get terrestrialized steel on this Pokemon so I can terrestrialize and like hit with fucking this move and just... yeah <laughs> that is like my new favorite move I just the only my only problem with it is that it's called gigaton hammer instead of gigaton smasher I don't even mind you can't use it back to back <laughs> it's such a good move I love it I love hammers they're like my favorite weapon Especially like giant war hammers. It's all over now. And indeed it is. It's finally over, guys. It's done. To it seem it is. Our levels were pretty high though, like oh. level sixty two? Damn. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up. Are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you run around with, with uh, round, uh, you run, when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning some, some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, merely did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in their tyran uh, tyrannous, tyrannous, op uh, tyrannous oppression. It was a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yes, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot. Our outfits must have spooked them good. While you have my favorite outfit, I highly doubt that's what happened. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down and they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. I guess you're right. This little stuff might have put up, put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. You just leave it to me. What you're, what are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this, so I'll take responsibility for everything. 
Oh, noble and kind, big boss. You cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh, yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you is thanks. Even though we never met in person, you were all so kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Prithee, speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, big boss, answer us. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. That's her plan. Bye bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Thanks for everything, pal. And you too, Clive. I'm glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star and me too. Hold that thought, miss. Uh, Penny, I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. So it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. So wouldn't I be like the head boss then? Cause like I ran in through all of y'all. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force the team start to, uh, team start to disband. Because the bosses could would do anything the code required of them, even leave the team. Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. Thus the idea for Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one thing. Why does Team Star know? What do your friends in the team mean to you? Everything. They're, just say everything. My greatest treasure. This is sounding very personified when they say it like that, but I get it. Splendid. Thank you for apprising me of this situation, Miss Penny. Voila. Well, now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to, to, to discuss with you. Hey, quit it with the old geezer at Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed. Well, then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal my own secret identity. Okay, you know what? Director Clavel? <laughs> oh, God. You know, I think cringe is probably the most painful emotion you could feel, right? Just as Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. Boy? Motherfucker, you had a goatee. But why? I needed a way to talk to- not a goatee, a beard. A way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers after all. Much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? He literally changed his clothes and more clothes came out of it. He took his clothes off to reveal more clothes. In fact, clothes that should have been distinct under his current outfit. He was wearing shorts, pulled his clothes off, and now he's wearing slacks. I don't get it. This guy's clearly the final boss. Well, that's quite enough for that for now. Why don't you come with me? Oh, come on out. Is the whole team here? I was hoping for it just to be like everyone like grunts to like the whole like the goons moment. Big boss, long time no see. Momo. More like long time no meet. There's no way they're doing this and it's not voice acted. I'm so mad. <sighs> Out of like all the goons to run up the grunts and everything. And I just get like a one beat a hundred. Like I, I, I'd make that. I'd run that fade. I'd run that fade. I heard your real name's Penny. How have you been this whole time? Ordy. We found you at last. You have no idea how worried we've been. Harry. Okay, gang, on the count of three. One, two, hasta la vista, Cassiopeia. And hello, Penny. Now then, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well. On behalf of the Academy, I have something I'd like to say to Team Star. 
You all have my sincerest apologies. Come again? As director of the academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. I still don't... I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for reforming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director, all I've ever experienced on the academy is an environment blessed free of bullying. But I know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course, your immense courage in putting things to right. And so I get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order from for Teen Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star continue to can continue to exist should that be your wish. I mean, you're gonna have to regulate exactly how they go about that, like, going to class and things about that, but aside from that, yeah. It's not like they were really hurting anyone but themselves. But I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us all about it. Far as we heard, you only went through it with uh, to save us from getting expelled. You were just worried about us, right? Not like we'd ever chuck the team just because someone told us to after all. Ain't our style. I can't even begin to imagine how much, uh, how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. All right, pause it. Um, one thing I'll give this story credit for is this could have been the birth of an evil team, right? Because if all these kids got expelled, they would do nothing but become like Team Skull, which, you know, could have become something like Team Rocket if better organized by someone like Penny. So it's like, it's interesting to see like, this is, this could be like, you could see this as like Giovanni being, you know, at a young age being shown that it's probably not the right path to go down that, like another possibility. So like, on one hand, it's an incredibly predictable and sappy story. On the other hand, it's probably the best story Pokemon has given in like years. At least that's not from the anime, from the games. Or, you know, the misery. I mean, I'll, I'll say this to this point. The best story they have ever written came from the second gener or the fourth generation Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, Explorers of Time, Darkness and Sky. Those are the best written stories they've ever done. Followed by the first generation, and then I would say generation five, in like that order. Sorry for making you worry. We're all okay now. But even so, hold on everyone, I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there's still some unsettled matters to discuss. Allow me to provide a few examples. Your protracted truancy, your brazen customization of school uniforms, your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modification and jeopardous driving of Pokemon powered vehicles. Need I go on? Your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. Thus, as punishment, you will be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes, specifically, I'll be asking you to manage the STCs, and that stands for Star Training Centers. They shall be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainer talents. I plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. Oh, so they're adding more gym battles. Like, they're not, they're probably not single like gym leaders, or maybe they might be. Because technically, this is the region with the most gym, be gym battles, because, like, they were all gym battles. You know what I mean? Like, that's what those were. They have different types than all the other gym leaders. And they give you badges when you beat them. Like, they even said they're made in the badges that they give you are made in the image of gym leaders. So, in that sense, they did give us more than eight gyms. The idea came to me when I saw Miss Bell battling her way through your bases. The bases constructed as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star are remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members using your former bases as training facilities. And that is a sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? It sounds like fun, so I don't see how this could be anything but a win-win. Yeah, it's like they're junior gyms, you know what I mean? Like, if you can't hack it against the real gyms, you start with these guys while you're in class. You take, you know, you get the, you get the swing of things and then you run it up against a real gym leader. Are you supposed to be a punishment and all? Uh, are you supposed, are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. It is true. We would most happily have you at our side, my lady Penny. 
We can go to school together too. That way if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We were already talking about something great it'd be to have both teams start and school in our lives. This would be a sweet deal for us. What do you say? You guys. What do you think? Go for it. What am I gonna do? I need to go find a dragon in a cave and then I'm gonna fight the Pokemon League. No need to give your response this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. For now, at least, I think our little group should go their separate ways. And not to, not to say you should break up Team Star, after all. I simply meant it's time to leave. Miss Bell, please stop by my office later if you would. Do I have to? I really want to go fight that dragon. Am I good? I got... Do I have another held item I can give myself? Honestly, this episode's gone on so long, I might as well just make it its own episode. Um, but we'll we'll go see the director and then I'll I'll wrap things up. I don't want to drag this out, but honestly, I like these games. Wish they ran better, but like I can enjoy Generation Nine for sure can't wait what dlc has in store if the quality of like if the games play better and the quality of the games improves these games are insane because like story narratively wise like they're up there they're really good a solid eight like i mean they're really more like a seven because like they're fine they're not blowing me away but for pokemon they're really good so i'll give them a seven um like i can't give them an eight and then say they're okay, but then give them like a, a good score for doing what should be the standard in the series, if that makes sense. Are you, uh, ah, you're here you are, Miss Bell. I wanted to thank you all for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. And if not for you, I suspect I would have had done the time, done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincerest gratitude. Who is it? It's Penny. Do I get her? Is she gonna hand me like a special Eevee or something? That'd be cool. I work on it together with the rest of Team Star. Wonderful news. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But I I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because the others really because of the others really bad the other really bad thing I did, and that would be You know, the LP I gave you both in exchange for helping with Operation Starfall. I got hold of it sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. Oh. Ooh, I see. That is quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't all that her. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't say that. I mean, I'm really sorry and I won't do it again. You know, there is a way to fix this. If you'd use those expertise to reinforce it so it never happens again, they might be like, all right, we'll give you a job. You know, you don't have to return it. Just make sure it doesn't happen again. That happens with some hackers. Some hackers just like, some people get paid to hack things. You know what I mean? Um, Cause it allows them to find exploits in software and then, you know, reinforce it. This matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I will have to consult Miss Gieta, the Pokemon League chairwoman on how best to proceed. I figured as much. I do apologize, Miss Bell, but I will have to ask you to give us some privacy. Yeah? Why did you call me here? Did you have something to give me? I mean, I'll go back and see, but... See if it's over. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's over. Alright. Sweet. Well then, I think the best thing to do is to call it here. Um, if you guys have been enjoying this playthrough, as always, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more. And until next time, take care and bye.